Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you all the tips and tricks I've been using to grow my YouTube Shorts channel. So I started a YouTube Shorts channel a few months ago. So it was just something I wanted to try. And I wanted another channel because it was not really related to what I was posting on this current channel. Anyways, it was pretty much starting from zero. And here are some of the things that worked for me for getting more views with zero subscribers. And there's been a lot of trial and error in this, and as most people did, I got very little views on my first few videos. And I didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't optimize it to its fullest. So I'll be showing you all the things that I've learned when I was starting from zero. Let's go! So as you can see, this is my channel. I only have 39 subscribers right now, but I've only started this, or posting this, like maybe two months ago and in a very sporadic manner and I was just testing and repurposing some of the stuff that I've been posting on TikTok and um, the kind of content that will do well on my channel. So if we go in each of these you can see that my views have been getting better. So in the first few I've gotten like four views. I didn't know what I was doing um, and then my first big one was um, this Sunday Reset and my next video that got a good decent view was from this productivity unboxing. So I'm just learning all the keywords that will be great for getting views. If you go into my YouTube studio, you'll see that my latest short was 5.2k which is I think pretty well for having no subscribers and or um, barely any subscribers and the subscriber growth is actually way faster on here compared to if I were doing the same thing maybe on a long form video so um, there is definitely a chance to go viral very quickly if you know how to optimize your videos and maybe if you post consistently and frequently the chances will be higher. So let's look at some of the analytics. Um, let's go to my highest performing video which is this unboxing here and if we go look at the analytics um, I gained 10 subscribers just from this short and um, it was mostly shown on shorts feed so that means um, some keywords or um, some tags matched what other people were interested in and it got pulled into the shorts feed for those people and as you can see um, nobody really searches for shorts and my main um, views were from the shorts feed and let's see if we go to sh the search terms you can see that these are what people are actually searching for um, and the highest sh search was actually for shorts and um, Amazon must-haves which is what um, I have in my title and there's a lot of random things that don't really go in um, that doesn't go along with my video but they also showed up so that was kind of interesting and just to show you um, my views I if we go into um, the last 90 days I've only really started posting my first short on here um, in May so it's been less than 90 days of um, posting on here and I've only posted like a few shorts here and there so as you can see um, it does have a lot of potential if you stick to it and is and you're consistent so we'll go into the um, YouTube app and my first tip for you is to upload in the YouTube app but finish it up on desktop and I'll show you why. 
if you upload on the app you can just go through the process here um, select create a short and then upload your video and after selecting your music or not um, adding the text whatever you finish and then you go into the final page um, there is actually uh, um, you can actually you can actually um, pick out your uh, thumbnail now which is great because before YouTube would only generate a random screenshot for you for the thumbnail and but now you can um, go through your short and pick whichever um, frame you want to appear uh, as a preview. So once you selected the right one um, I would select visibility and set it to private and then um, actually upload the video from there because um, in order for you to edit and um, optimize it on your computer um, it can't be saved as draft because then that will stay on your phone and not on um, the platform so I would upload it as private and then let's jump onto the computer for this in studio and in the content section I've um, uploaded it as a private video before and now you can see that this is the one that I uploaded and uh, we would want to go in here and edit like it is a video so the first thing um, we want to do is actually do some keyword research so this is my other tip um, I currently use um, to buddy here with keyword research and I find it really helpful um, and this is one of the reasons why uh, my videos are getting a lot of views it's because I've been doing some keyword research before um, to make sure that it fits into the, the shorts and that um, it is a highly searched keyword so that it'll show up when people are searching for that keyword. So what I mean by this is say um, I'll go into the keyword research tool and uh, how I would do this is say that was like um, just like an unboxing or um, Amazon must-haves so I would go in here and search for um, Amazon must-haves and you can see that um, the search is the search volume is kinda low for this so um, I would look into other uh, keywords so this one is uh, ranked as excellent so I would try to use this as the title um, so that uh, that has a better chance of being viewed and I think the shorts algorithm is different than a long form video so um, I've tweaked my method a little bit differently compared to if I were to upload a long form video so in a shorts um, I think the algorithm is that um, competition doesn't matter but as long as the search volume is high then your chances of being viewed is um, more likely because um, if people are constantly searching for this keyword then um, you will have a better chance of being viewed when people are searching for it compared to um, if you were doing a long-form video then you would want competition to be great uh, easy also because um, then you can rank higher compared to other people's videos or um, you don't have to uh, click, click through to like the 10th page before it gets to your video. So um, that's my understanding of it and I've been doing this and it's been working very well for me. So let's say um, we use this as the keyword. If you go back here 
then we'll do this, add it there. And my next tip is to use the hashtags. Um, I don't know how uh, much this influences the algorithm, but when I use um, hashtags, I've also seen in my analytics that people click on the hashtags and um, have viewed my videos from there. So um, let's say we do some unboxing and I would actually click choose some that are like higher um, like with more videos because that also means that um, there's a lot more people posting about this and um, it's a more common hashtag to use so maybe people would be clicking on those hashtags more so I would click the higher um, numbered hashtags okay so if we go look at short um, this kind of confirms my belief that um, if we use something with a lot of video views, it will do well because a lot of people put shorts and there's 600 million videos and a lot of those um, shorts actually go a bit viral if you put shorts. So um, it makes sense when people give advice to sit, but like put shorts on there and your video would take off. And I kind of believe that because um, there's just so many people either searching for shorts or um, you're putting yourself in that category where people would be watching shorts. So um, that is another uh, hashtag you can leave in there. And after doing the hashtags, what I would do, I actually leave the description blank because um, I don't, not, no one really looks into the description on a short. But um, what I do, and you only get this too if you're on the computer, um, in if you're when you're editing your video on the computer, is that uh, you need to answer the this question. So no, it's not made for kids. Um, if you do it on your app, it just by bypasses that. It's like super simplified and it won't ask you any of these. Um, and so the next thing I do is to add all the related tags. So you always have an option to add tags. Um, this uh, TubeBuddy also makes it easier for me because then I can see all the tags that um, are recommended for this video and you can also see um, the keyword score so you can see which um, tags actually do well and this is a hundred so it makes sense um, Amazon finds TikTok um, that's what people would probably search for if they're looking for shorts because a lot of shorts are repurposed from TikTok and um, this would only show up if you've come back in after uh, you've published it. So um, what we would do is pretty much just look at the relevance and the keyword score. And um, I usually pick relevance first, but then keyword score is also good. So we can put Amazon finds. I just do it until I get maxed out on the tags here. So now this is the last step. After this, um, I would say you're pretty much done. Um, you've covered all your the grounds for having it optimized and I would just um, switch this back to public and save and then I'll go live. Um, it does take me a while to get the views going. Sometimes I would check like within an hour and there's still be nothing. But then I think it just takes time for YouTube to push your reels or your shorts out for a bit and then you would see like a crazy spike. Um, even like maybe a day after. It takes them that long sometimes to push my video uh, shorts out. 
So if you're interested in learning more about YouTube and how I'm trying to grow my personal YouTube channel, check out the videos in the link below and I will see you in the next video.